Welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy, and today I'm going to show you how to do some very basic routine maintenance on the Bamboo Lab H2D. It's probably going to be the very first thing that the printer asks you to do after you've been printing for a while, and that is to clean and lubricate the Z-axis screws as well as the smooth rods. Now, you don't have to fret when you have to do this because it is very easy to do, and it's also important because it's going to help make sure that the printer continues to move the bed up and down nice and smooth over time time and is also going to help with your accuracy make sure things stay nice and accurate and it's going to help to make sure that your printer lives the long life that it is meant to have so in order to do this you already have some of the tools available to you because with this printer comes this box of goodies right here and inside of this box of goodies there's a multitude of things but the two things we're going to be focused on today are these little gold packets here that contains lubricant grease as well as this tube, this white and green tube here. And this is lubricant oil. Now, these are not the same. And you just have to be careful not to mix them up because the oil is going to be used on those smooth rods. And then the grease is going to be used on the threaded screws. All right. And in addition to that, we need something to actually clean them before we start lubricating and to do that i just got myself some 91 percent isopropyl alcohol there's no particular reason why i'm using 91 percent other than the fact that i also do resin 3d printing so i already have this alcohol lying around and that's why i decided to use it for this and you need something to clean those screws and rods with you can use a lintless, smooth microfiber cloth if you have one, or you can be like me and just use an old but yet still clean t-shirt. All right, so let's get started. Now, the first thing that you need to do is turn off the printer and unplug it just for safety's sake. You see that my printer here is still on and that's because I've already done the steps, but just make sure just in case you turn it off and you unplug it. Then you want to get your cloth or your t-shirt or whatever it is that you're going to use and just take a bit of this alcohol here and just put a little bit on it. Little dab would do you just like this. And then go over to those lead screws and those rods and just rub it up and down to clean it. Now, it may not even look like it, but the reason why you want to do it is because this is the kind of stuff that's going to come off of those rods. Look at the dirt, that blackness right there. That stuff is living on those rods and in those screws and that's why you want to make sure that you clean that good and thorough and then just move to a cleaner spot on your cloth or your rag or something like that and then just give it another good clean just so you can see what kind of residue might be left and you're going to want to do that for all three pairs of the screws and the smooth rods there's one pair on the left there's another pair to the right of the printer and then there's a third pair way in the back in the middle the one in the middle is just a little bit more tricky to get into because you got to reach back there and the um the threaded rod is located in the back but you can still get to it easily enough it's just a little bit more of a fuss to get to that one than the ones that are right up there in the front all right so now it's time for lubrication and i'm just going to start with the lubricating grease here that's going to go on those threaded rods now there are 3d printed tools that you can print to make applying this easier but if you don't have anything like that you can just get a disposable glove at least that's what i did and you can put a little bit of grease on your index finger and a little bit of grease on your thumb and that way when you go over to these threaded rods you can just take your finger like this and then just go up and down on each of those three rods to get it nice and lubricated and then when you're done with that you can move over to the lubricating oil now with this it's pretty easy because you can just take this little top off and then you can just snip off the tip and then you can just squeeze it till you see the oil come down onto those smooth rods. So you just make sure you apply some and go all the way down and do that for each of those three rods. And then after you've applied the oil to all of those smooth rods, you're 
pretty much done. You can turn the printer back on, go to the motion menu, and then just have the Z axis move up and down, up and down. And that's going to help to distribute the oil and the grease evenly across the screws and evenly across those smooth rods. And then if you have the maintenance message that's popped up on the screen, you can go to that and you can tell the printer that you've done it. It'll confirm it. It'll clear out that message. And then the clock will basically restart for you to be able to continue to print. And then when it's time to lubricate again, the printer will let you know. So that's pretty much it. You know, it's really easy to do. So when you get that message on your printer that tells you that it's time to start lubricating, I know it's easy to just put it off. I'll get to it later. I'll get to it later. And I get it. I do that too. But when you have time, just make sure that you set aside, you know, 10, 15 minutes just so you can do a little minor cleaning and some re-lubricating and the printer will thank you for it in the future. So that's going to do it for now. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll speak to you soon.